Hey, hey, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. And we are in the middle of breeding for Bagon. I believe that the process that I settled on was hatching through the two boxes worth of eggs that I've got. So that's what we're going to focus on in this episode. Let's see if we can catch out everything. And then we can start filling up the boxes again. I think this method will prove to be at the very least a change of pace, which is always good. And maybe the sheer number of egg spawns will work in our favor. Hopefully, I think I'm gonna wait on this. Maybe hatch everything that's in my party right now. And then grab the one egg from the daycare man and anything else will come right from the box. This method is a little bit should be a little bit quicker. As we won't be going into the daycare to access the PC as often. If I stick directly to hatching everything in my party before swapping, it's going to be... that will be the ideal. We left off in a place where the eggs weren't. They were kind of in the middle of hatching. Somewhere between zero steps and having the required amount of steps. Like around 50% ish. Correct in that thinking, we should have some eggs start hatching up soon. And it'll cascade once one egg hatches. That means everything else should be close to hatching. Probably except for the very last egg, because I think that's going to be fresh. stuff. The 
the police here. Shouldn't do that. Take the egg. Or if my thinking is correct, and we should be close to more eggs hatching than. Hang on to this one. Hatch through everything else in the party. That's number two. It's about to hatch. Let's get a two for here. I guess maybe we'll be staggering egg hatching for a little bit. Party. We'll disregard the daycare man for now. Perfect attack stats. Maybe the speed is perfect. If you're adamant and double flawless, 
could be worth hanging on to just because. You are a male, which means I won't be able to use you to pass down nature, but... Should have picked up an egg and also swapped the boxes. Okay. See if we have any kind of luck here. Let's see you. Level twenty. Bashful. Hmm. Look like anything too special, but I'm gonna hang on. Another one. Hmm. Maybe HP, attack, and special attack. So bashful. Want to release this one. And our possible triple flawless. And we're going to move. And yes, we'll do it. I feel like... I guess we're going to continue with the staggered method. Rather than hatching out five eggs at a time. Which I feel like it doesn't matter. In the end it's all about hatching the eggs, so... Whether I do it in groups of two or three, rotating them in and out. Or if I just grab onto five eggs. I think from an efficiency standpoint, rotating out the eggs as they hatch is a little bit more efficient because 
We're conserving steps. We have as many steps as possible going towards hatching eggs. Rather than hatching five eggs. means that every egg, once it's hatched into a big on that slot, is empty, a fish is essentially empty, and every step taken is not counting towards an egg in that slot, so... from the daycare man this episode. This feels like we're close to that. here this is definitely a fresh egg it feels like the next egg to hatch should be the one I picked up this episode I've hatched four eggs so far I believe the HP and special attack. about to hatch, I guess I'll hatch those two. Seem to be going in a two by two sort of pace. I guess after those two, I will pick up 
one egg from the daycare man and another egg from inside the PC. Nothing special. We will release. To the party and we will pick up the egg from the daycare man and wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. I'm very much appreciative of your support while I'm going through this breeding process. And I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, so long. <laughs>